Swedish chemist, inventor, engineer, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, Alfred Nobel is best known as the inventor of dynamite and had a profound impact on world history. As the man who became the beginning of the creation of the Nobel Prize, According to the story of this remarkable man, he was interested in explosives from an early age. So he filled a can with black powder and exploded it, causing an explosion and panic in the whole town. Of course, it is said that Nobel was also seriously injured and could not move for a while. Although less famous than his son would be, his father, Manuel Nobel, was also an inventor and developed sea mines and land mines during the Crimean War and supplied them to the Russian army. In 1855, the British army suffered terrible damage from these underwater mines. And for a while, it was said that a demon was living in the sea where countless British fleets burned and exploded. However, the Russian Empire, which lost the war, did not reward Nobel's father and was not welcomed by the victorious allies, so the weapons factory went bankrupt. Eventually, Nobel and his two older brothers had to walk all over Europe and save money to study. Nobel later made a fortune by developing the Baku oil field in Russia with his two older brothers. However, it is said that a fire presumed to be arson at the Baku oil field caused a lot of damage. Nobel started a nitroglycerin-based explosives business, and of course, no town welcomed a factory that made this dangerous substance. Although Nobel advertised safety, such as putting hot iron in nitroglycerin, people didn't seem to believe it. It seems that the factory was built and worked well, but in September 1864, it exploded, killing Emil, an executive, four employees, and a passerby. After receiving a lot of criticism from society and paying the compensation, Nobel said that he had no choice but to float a boat on the lake and set up a factory there. In addition, his father, Immanuel Nobel, was shocked by Emil's death and fell apart, becoming disabled and dying in 1872. Nobel had to work on making explosives safe and finally invented dynamite in 1866. There were also some copyright disputes in the beginning. However, dynamite, which has a strong explosive power that is easy to control, is very safe and convenient to handle, and has a cool name, was widely used in the mining industry. And this explosive was introduced into the battlefield, killing a lot of people. It was first used in earnest during the Franco-Prussian War, and it was used a lot when the Prussians beat back the French. But this made Nobel a lot of money. Afterward, Nobel left France over a patent dispute over the invention of smoke-loss gunpowder and lived in the Swedish countryside for the next five years before his death in 1896. Nobel remained single for the rest of his life due to poor family relations. He actually had a woman he liked, but his father objected and he eventually broke up with her. 
he met and dated a woman in France once before, but it ended in tragedy due to the woman's death. In addition, there was a time when Nobel loved women so much that he professed his love by sending 260 letters a year, but his female counterparts were indifferent to Nobel. Ironically, after Nobel died and became famous for the Nobel Prize, his estate made money by selling letters. A woman lied that she was Nobel's wife and entitled to that enormous fortune, and she was slandered and in her later years died horribly of insanity. In addition, a middle-aged Nobel, on the advice of a friend, hired a female secretary named Bertha Kinski, 1843-1914, to relieve his loneliness and they developed a romantic relationship. However, she left in search of her first love and later returned as Berna Sotna. She worked as a writer of anti-war literature about topics such as Nobel and peace and wrote a book, Lay Down Your Arms. Bertha Kinski argued that there would be no peace as long as mankind was obsessed with guns and stronger weapons and for this work, she was awarded the fifth Nobel Peace Prize in 1905. It was the second time for a woman, and she was the first to win it alone. She is also the only Nobel laureate to have met Nobel in her lifetime. The first woman to win the prize was Marie Curie in 1903, when she shared the Nobel Prize in Physics with her husband Pierre Curie. Relatives sued each other for possession of Nobel's enormous fortune, but in the end, the Nobel Prize was created according to his wishes. In general, the widely accepted opinion is that he felt skeptical about the military use of the dynamite he had made and donated his property to contribute to mankind by creating a Nobel Prize. On the other hand, when his older brother Ludwig Nobel died, a newspaper falsely reported that Alfred Nobel was dead, shockingly called him a merchant of death, and there was a theory that was why he created a Nobel Prize. However, since the original source of the misinformation has never been found or confirmed, it has also been considered to be nothing but groundless rumors. In fact, it is easy to mistakenly believe that dynamite killed people, but it was bolostite, a mixture of collodion and nitroglycerin that was put to use in war. This method was an invention made while Nobel were thinking about how to use dynamite as a powerful military weapon. It wasn't that Nobel did it because he liked war, though. Nobel thought that now that he had made such a terrifying weapon, nobody would even dare to fight and everyone would get along. In today's terms, it's like we can't touch each other because we're holding nuclear bombs. A similar thinker was Dr. Richard Jordan Gatling, who invented the Gatling gun. However, both of their inventions turned out to be great weapons of mass destruction. In the end, 
The two ideals were fully realized after the development of nuclear weapons and the establishment of the concept of mutually assured destruction. It would be more correct to say that Nobel's reputation is maintained by the establishment of the Nobel Prize rather than dynamite. The world does not easily remember for more than 100 years the name of the person who worked on nitroglycerin absorbed into diatomaceous earth to make a safe bomb. The Nobel Prize made a great contribution to human society through the establishment of the Nobel Prize. In particular, the Nobel Prize in Science has had a direct impact on improving the quality of our lives for two achievements, originality and contribution to humanity. Thank you for watching the video, Alfred Bernhard Nobel, provided by History and Current Events. I'm Rebecca, Mia, Katie, Leah and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.